Hey everyone, today's video is going to be about my occlusions. Please click the eye on the top right hand corner for the rat treatment playlist to get more informed on common rat illnesses. So without further ado, let's get started. So what are malocclusions? Malocclusions are when the teeth get out of alignment and then they become overgrown. There are three causes of malocclusion of the teeth. One, congenital, the animal was born that way. Two, trauma, when the animal has an injury to the face leading to disruption of normal growth of the tooth roots. Three, infection, bacterial infection of the tooth roots can lead to changes in the, in the direction of the tooth growth. Symptoms. The symptoms are drooling, difficulty eating, weight loss, odor from the mouth, or persistent rubbing of the mouth with hands. You can often see ill-aligned or overgrown teeth if you check in your rat's mouth. Treatment. For a one-time occurrence due to trauma or bad chewing habits, example, bar chewing, Remove hazard and provide chewing alternatives to prevent reoccurrence. Using either a cat nail clippers or any similar type of clipper, trim teeth to be even. Be careful to avoid the tongue and lips. A second person may be needed to help. Or you can use a fabric restraint which can be used to wrap and temporarily restrict your animal's movement. Consult an exotic vet to show you how to do this for the first time. In the case of chronic genetic malocclusion, trim teeth to evenness every two weeks to two months, depending on rate of growth. In the case of severe malocclusion resulting in oral abscess, consult, consult an exotic vet. Tooth may, may need to be extracted and abscess drained, and antibiotics will probably be needed. Prevention. Prevention is always key. Provide safe chewing options for healthy wearing down of teeth. Regularly check your pet's mouth. In some cases, this is a genetic condition and can be managed easily at home. Now, what should normal teeth look like? Normal teeth should look like this. The top teeth should be short and dark orange, and the bottom teeth should be longish and a yellowy color or lighter than the top. Now position. Sometimes, the bottom teeth are close together and sometimes they splay and move apart. This is normal because the bottom teeth can actually move and are actually flexible. And that concludes this video on malocclusions. If you liked the video, please subscribe, please like, and please comment. And be sure to stay tuned next week for how to treat respiratory infections. And that is it. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye!